the saying, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Sometimes that applies to something altogether different. For instance, that pumpkin patch over there on the other side of this fence. Sometimes the pumpkins are more orange on the other side of the fence and your ghosts decide that they're going to bust through the fence and go and take one bite out of each one of those pumpkins within days of you going out there to harvest. Our plan was to harvest this weekend when we were both gonna have time to commit to it. And yesterday afternoon when Ryan went to put the goats away, there were a couple that had jumped out and they were just staying right there in the paddock, you know, not, not leaving our property or anything. So we were just letting them walk around for a little bit eating weeds, we assumed. Oh, we assumed wrong. This is what Ryan cleaned out of the pumpkin patch. Some of them have just been bit once and some of them have been bit a lot. Yeah, goofy goats. They couldn't wait. try to salvage this one it's just got one bite um so it might be worth cutting that part off and having it for dinner tonight because this looks like it's one of the nice heirlooms i was just in the kitchen getting ready to start on some kitchen projects and i looked out the window and saw what ryan was doing and i thought this is probably something i need to capture for the vlog ryan got up early this morning and went fishing in the pond and he's cleaning up our dinner. Looks like you got a nice shady spot to work in. I do. <laughs> so what are you doing? I am processing some bass that I caught this morning. Ooh, looks like you did well. I'd say so. Awesome. So that's gonna feed us for dinner tonight, huh? Yeah, that's uh, dinner tonight. Calm yeast. Very common occurrence in home ferments. Calm yeast is pretty natural occurrence. It's not a reason to throw away your ferment. It is just an, a thin cloudy layer on the surface of your ferment. It will not be furry or fuzzy and it breaks apart pretty easily and you can actually skim it off with a spoon or you could even stir it in. Calm yeast is known to have a little bit more bitter flavor than most people like, so most people do skim it off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skim it off because I'm actually taking the lacto-fermented pickles from this pickling crock and dehydrating them because I forgot to put my tannin-producing leaf that keeps your pickles crunchy and crisp, and so they're kind of mushy. and. Nobody really likes mushy pickles. So if I put them in the dehydrator at 115, they stay probiotic and they become a pickle chip and they're delicious. So this is a great way to not only save your ferment from the calm yeast, but it's also to save it from a mushy pickle. So here we go. These are gonna become pickle chips. They're going to be my kids' favorite snack, and they'll still be probiotic because I'll be doing them at a low enough temperature in the dehydrator. Now, if I had remembered to put an oak leaf or a grape leaf or a horseradish leaf or tea leaves, 
or bay leaves or any tannin producing leaf into my ferment, these would have been crispy pickles that I would now be putting in the refrigerator and would be consumed as pickles. And I do have some of those um, that came out more crispy in a different jar. So I still have some pickles, <laughs> but pickle chips are a nice treat too. And this time of year is the perfect time to be preserving your harvest, however that might be, whether it's from canning, fermenting, dehydrating, freezing. There's so many ways to take advantage of the abundance that we have right now while everything is in season and get as much as you can stored away for the later winter months when there are no fresh cucumbers available. Yum. So now that we've made a bunch of pickles, now we're making a cucumber tomato salad with a little bit of red onion, fresh garlic, salt, a dash of sugar, and some apple cider vinegar. That'll go with our fish dinner tonight. Yum yum. And that is dinner. Homemade potato chips, fried fish, and our cucumber tomato salad. Yummy. So much of this came right off the land, fresh and in season. Oh my gosh, that pumpkin looks the exact same. Did you find one? Mm-hmm. Yep, right there. Where's the law pumpkin? Alright, let's get these pumpkins picked before the goats eat them all. I found a pumpkin over here. Ugh. I know I'm not supposed to pick it up by the handle, but yeah, it's kind of hard. All right, I'm growing. Right. This, this one's wide enough for you to watch out for ants underneath them. Get to work. That's probably what dug a boat. Remember, these kind of ants don't bite. Oh no. I can not get that white one. Oh, okay. You don't think so? Here they am. These types of ants crawl on you, but they don't bite. Okay, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure, Dada? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he's right. Yeah. Why is there Brush them off. I'm just gonna uh, cut them off the vine, guys. Just be fast, and then brush your hands. Them. Ooh, this one's pretty. Bite. I'm gonna keep his stem. Ooh, just get it down. Doing, this is a good angle. Yeah, they're not bite. Well, the camera's running if you wanted to pick it up and change it. Uh. Little while they're right. Pumpkins everywhere. Oh. Pumpkins in July. It's a pumpkin rush. The stems are prickly. The stems are prickly and I don't like touching the stems myself. Yeah, me too. But if you get a smaller one and you just pick it up, it's fine. A lot of pumpkins. I'm coming for my one. Do I still you want look me to cut like that one? Do I still look like they have yeah. ants on them? Oh, you got it. Good job. That one. Like that. Nice oh, and harmless. Not even an egg. Not whole. Not squishy. Not so heavy. Pretty and pink. Oh, oh yeah. That one kind of looks like a flower. This is not to go to the goats. This is my Cinderella pumpkin. Did you eat the bitty Odin pumpkin? Okay. The Odin pumpkin. This is um, tiny. Oh. This is me. Yeah, those are fun. Probably still eat that. Maybe I'll just pumpkin. We just cut off that goat bite. Oh, look at these little ones, bro. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pick these. 
you come through and pick up what you can. Daddy will get the big one. Oh, that's a pretty buff color. The goats did a good job planting this garden. Oh, yeah. That, I see a pumpkin that looks like the color beige. Yeah, that one's pretty. I saw that one. It looks like the color of it's a lot of pumpkins. I thought you'd be done cutting them by now, but you keep finding more. Um, I'm going to get this one even though it's dirty. That's unblemished. Ooh, that's a nice one. Make it? Yeah. We'll see. I don't know if they can stay cured that long in the heat. That's the problem. I've never heard of pumpkins being picked in July. I'll trade you. I take the baby and you finish picking up all these pumpkins with the boys. Mmm, it's gonna be hard, hard trade, but okay. <laughs> 